Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it feels like nighttime. It's early. <laughs> the moon is still out. That is the moon right there, folks. It is <laughs> lighting up the night sky. It is early. It's about five o'clock, a little after five. I decided since I'm not checking back, I didn't need to go so early. I'm kind of, I'm gonna cut it a little bit close. I'm not that nervous because I'm TSA pre-check. It's Delta. Delta. It's, really small. Okay, it's like right there. Little terminal, so yeah. we should be good. You guys, I got my little Finley here with me. <laughs> He's so nervous. He literally slept <laughs> right next to my face the whole night, and he was tossing and turning because he just yeah. knows he something knows. is he up. He knows for sure. And like this morning, he was just like on her, like blue, oh, like right, right next to right her. Right on me. This is the saddest <laughs> thing. So sad. We're but gonna miss Britt though, you guys. I oh, know. you know. I don't think any of us really slept that well. I know. You know what I was thinking though? How grateful I am to have a husband and obviously a little puppy yeah. that I am sad to leave. That I, tells you, you know, yeah. you are very blessed and you have, you don't know the good I without know. missing it. So. Yeah. That's why I should have had you take the bus this morning. That's I really <laughs> felt it then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna miss him, everyone, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, you can probably hear my voice how early it is. Yeah, but uh... if you do not know, I am on my way to New York City to go Woo! see the burgers, my darling sister the and her apple. cute family. You guys, she is having her baby tomorrow. Wow. Unless it comes today yeah but she's being induced tomorrow but i am so excited obviously sad to leave these two so yeah. they will be here in florida <laughs> i will be in new york you're gonna get the best of both worlds yeah plus i'm super excited to see what you guys are up to in new york i know and you guys are gonna have a new little baby in the family <laughs> That's so cool i can't it's wait it's so surreal it's crazy <laughs> it just feels like Nora was just born i mean if you guys have been here for a while you remember i was out in new york when yeah. Nora was born, she was teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm looking forward to these videos. I know. I for sure am gonna miss this little one. <laughs> so why nice. is it so, why is it so he sad? He saw Brittany put He's like He's shaking her. already, you guys. He's literally <laughs> shaking. I'm feeling a little mixed emotions this morning. I didn't really expect to like be kind of sad to leave this guy, I mean. <laughs> Who, me or Finn? You! Okay. Well, and Finn, of course, but especially him. And maybe I'm just getting sentimental because it is it is our seven year anniversary yeah. this weekend on Sunday. I know, that is crazy. That's, that is definitely something that is sad. But I do us, have yeah. the best of the best of a husband, and you guys yeah. know that. Yeah, I have the best of the best of boy. No. Oh. Are you throwing up yet? <laughs> is this. <laughs> maybe we're just sentimental in the morning. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Prince Charming, how am I gonna leave you? <laughs> I don't know. It's too sad though. Uh, I love you, baby. Finn does definitely not want to leave. I love you. We're saying goodbye. Sad. This is really sad. I'm gonna I'm trying not to act sad so that way he like will feel Yeah. Better. Okay, you go see daddy. Alright, you two. You boy, boy, I boy, love Anna. you. <laughs> Bye love. All right, I made it to my gate. Security was super quick. Ugh, you guys, I hated saying goodbye to Jared and Finn. It's so weird traveling without Jared. I'm gonna miss him like crazy. It's gonna be fun to see what they're up to, we're up to, and I'm so excited to go to New York. Welcome this new little baby into our family. It's gonna be so special. So I'm just waiting for them to board, and we will see you in New York. I just picked up my bag. I actually checked it at the gate. They were asking for volunteers. 
I was like, you know what, I'll check it. That way I don't have to like lug it all around with me to the plane. So got my bag, super easy flight. It's about two and a half hours, almost three. So pretty quick. I'm honestly so excited for this week. So excited to go and see them, see the city. The sun is shining. It's gonna be a good day. I'm missing Jared and Finn, but I know they are doing great. Well guys, Brittany has been gone very long, but we miss her like crazy. Don't we, buddy? <laughs> He's the cutest little thing. So basically, after we dropped off Brittany, I decided to take the fun way home, which was basically along the A1A, along the ocean. And we were able to watch a little bit of the sunrise and it looked beautiful. But you guys, I wanted to share something with you real quick that I thought was the cutest thing in the world that Brittany did. I don't know how she snuck this in, but she definitely did it before we left because when I came home, I came home to some of the sweetest little post-it notes posted everywhere throughout our home. First of all, this one here on the microwave, it says you're the best. I love that it's right here just because I'll see that literally every single day. I'm not gonna touch any of these by the way. I'm gonna leave them all here. This next one's probably one of my favorites. Eat your veggies or get pizza. <laughs> Let's be real, she knows me all too well. Then look at this one in our bathroom. It says, love you to the moon. This one I thought was so cute. It says, I love and miss you already. Thanks for editing. Baby, I don't know how you did all that stuff, but thank you, I love you. And I'm missing you like crazy already. And I think this guy is too. <laughs> hey dude, you wanna go for a walk? <gasps> you wanna go for a walk outside? Let's go. Look at what I am staring at right now. The One World Trade Center. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Just about to walk into the door and they were coming out. It was the perfect time. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're in the city with the burger to New York. You guys, right now there are three girls, soon to be four. Are you kidding me? Look how darling Shell is in her dress. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pop. She's gonna pop tomorrow, you guys. Baby Burger. Hey, are you getting a baby sister tomorrow? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna have a sister just like mommy and Brady are sisters. Hi right, guys, it has been a little bit after the walk with Finn, which I'm confident that like really tuckered him out. He took a very long and much needed nap. I answered a bunch of emails. I actually was able to work out from the balcony, which was really nice. And before that, as you guys know, we woke up pretty darn early this morning. And so I thought, you know, I tried to get a nap, but I couldn't nap at all after our walk with Finn. I couldn't nap until I knew that Brittany was safe and sound in New York. So I decided to do the next best thing that I could think of, relax and work on things out by the pool, which was actually quite soothing. Was able to work on stuff, listen to some podcasts until I got a phone call from Britt that she was safe and sound in New York. But now I'm thinking I'm gonna take this little puff out to the beach. How's that sound, bro? Yeah, beach time. <laughs> Well, I guess you could call us the Beach Boys. <laughs> we are just hanging out at the beach right now. Finn is literally having a heyday. I got this new like slingshot rocket launcher thing. I'm pretty sure it's for kids, but I saw it at the Olive Dollar store and I was like, I gotta get that for Finn. He would absolutely love it. And sure enough, he does love it. I pull that thing back and just fling it as far as it will go. It won't go very far. It goes like maybe 10 feet, but that's pretty far for Finn. He's been doing a lot of running, so. Get them some water right now. This bag, by the way, is seriously like a game changer. It's made by Everfun. It's a cooler backpack. But anyways, keeps the water super cold for Finn. And I brought him a little dish. That way he can drink out of it. Oh my goodness, you guys. We 
are off to brunch. Cute Shell made a reservation for us. You guys, who does that the day seriously before she is due? She made a reservation for us at a special place. I can't wait to see Brit there. So we're gonna go have a little girls night and look at Eleanor. Nora, are you kidding me? Look at her in her sunglasses. Let's see your coat. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite girls in the city. incredible lunch so yeah it's called what was it malibu farm malibu farms you guys it is literally right across from the brooklyn bridge look at that view like it looks fake out yeah. here they have outdoor seating oh it's beautiful it's like mid 60s now we don't even need our jackets we've been running up and down yeah, here with no, little no. nora mm -hmm. having so much fun and then check out the view right here the city this is amazing i would definitely put this on your list if you come to new york the little hidden gem shell show me i've never been here and this is such a beautiful view of the brooklyn bridge so perfect way to kick off the start of this new york trip so much fun with my girls and Nora's wanting to hold my hand hold both of our hands oh mommy she wants to hold both of our hands there you go that is too sweet Well guys, I think it was a good time had by all. We've been here for about two hours, playing with Finn, playing in the ocean. He's been loving it. Well, the beach was a total success. It was a ton of fun being out there, hanging out, and just kind of relaxing, especially with Finn. I think we did a pretty good job of taking his mind off of Brittany. After the beach, I gave Finn a bath, and I think he did pretty darn good. Like, he doesn't really like the bath, but he's getting a lot better at it. And then I brushed him, which he absolutely loves. It's one of his favorite things ever. Like, every time you say the word brush, he gets so excited. He runs and jumps up on the couch right here. Look how handsome he looks. Dude, looking suave. Finn and I actually just got off of a FaceTime with Brittany, and she was showing us all around at sunset, and it looks absolutely incredible. Like, it almost looked like a movie set like that had been like curated perfectly to like the lighting and everything like that but it wasn't like it was like real life I just forget like how beautiful their neighborhood is These two are Last parents night. of two. We are out here. What is this place called? I don't know. It's just along the Hudson. Along the Hudson. It is beautiful. It's sunset right now. You can see the boats, the Statue of Liberty's out there. It's just so dreamy. We got some pics of these guys with the tulips. We're gonna go feed the ducks. We're gonna go feed the ducks. Ending the night feeding the ducks, but man, yeah, there's the Statue of Liberty right out there. You guys, I gotta say, it's pretty awesome to be in the city with these guys. Usually they're in Florida, but it's so fun to be here in New York with them, huh? We love having Brittany come to visit. Ah! Will Nora has been so excited for weeks. Bitty, bitty, bitty. <laughs> we do miss Jared and Finn. Though. I know, she does keep saying Jared and Finny. That's right. So we are missing them. Well, you guys, I'm not missing uh, Fort Lauderdale too much because I feel right at home with this yellow fairy. <laughs> it's like the yellow taxi that we see. <laughs> That's so amazing. Look at the skyline though right here. So pretty. With the pretty sun pretty. setting. Oh, there she is. There she is, Lady Liberty. You guys, seriously, this city, it is beautiful. Oh, we're so lucky to live here. I know. I, I got out of the car just walking around and I was like, seriously, this is just the coolest so city. Cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Bro. 
Oh, Nora. I think this might be the dreamiest place ever to feed ducks. I mean, look at this backdrop right here. Nora is having a heyday. Hi, cutie. Feeding all the ducks and the fish, and then look at the backdrop back there. That's New Jersey, right? Yeah. This is the Hudson. I mean, so fun. This is so fun. So I think we're gonna wrap things up, you guys. We've had such a fun day today. I know. But this girl goes in tomorrow at what time? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. She is getting induced tomorrow, you guys. The little baby burger. Big baby burger. <laughs> <laughs> Probably if she's like Nora. Yeah, how big was Nora? Nora was nine pounds, two ounces. Nine pounds, two, you guys, guess how much this baby is gonna weigh. Let's see that. And whoever gets it right, we will send $50 worth to Jared and Britt. What? Yeah, let's do that. So I wanna guess. <laughs> and first person to get it right, let's say that. Yes. So height and weight. Height and weight. Height and weight, first person to guess it right, we will send that. So. Comment down below, you guys. Wish Michelle luck and Nate. I'm hey gonna, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I'm gonna be hanging out with this little one for the next couple of days. So we will see when little baby burger comes, you guys. But today has been amazing. We're so happy to have Britt here. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so awesome. It already has been. It's been so special just to spend today with Michelle. Cause after today, I mean, she's gonna have a baby. So she won't be out and about as much. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Knowing this one, she's like Wonder Woman. So we'll no. see. Anyways, I think we're gonna call it for day one in New York, you guys. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss out on all these videos welcoming a beautiful new little baby girl to the world. Aww. It's gonna be awesome. But with that, we love you. Hey, anything else you wanna say? Love you guys, and <laughs> great to be on the channel. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye from New York.